Yo guys, what's up? It's Teachers to Game 2 coming at you again with another video here and I'm going to show you what we have found to be the five most useful tames on Valgoro's newest map. Now, if you don't mind leaving a like and a subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. Now, before we get there, I'm going to go ahead and show you, if you don't have these four already, this is obvious, I'm not going to include these in the five that I'm talking about because these are four that you need no matter what. Fire Wyvern for Thatch Gathering, Anki for Metal Gathering, Doa Dicarus for Wood Gathering, I mean Stone Gathering, and then the Roll Rat. A lot of people don't understand how valuable Roll Rats are, so I'm going to show you real quick. Now, first off, they roll, which is crazy cool. Second off, they gain a crazy amount of wood from hitting these trees. Now, this is on one times, and that's just not even a good tree right there. 68, 128, and these guys move a lot faster than the other tames, so they're good to have. So now, I just wanted to show you that real quick. You need roll rats for wood gathering, and they roll insanely fast, which is pretty cool. And they carry six people on a saddle. So let's check out these five tames that I want to show you today. And here they are. We have found these to be the five most important tames that we use the most. Now, this is the number one most valuable, the Carquinhos. Now, let me show you why. First off, they jump for miles. Second off, boop, boop. You can carry two things, wherever you want to go with them. Doesn't matter where. You can use them. If one guy is on top of one of these, you have the easiest metal runs in the world. Or if you want, you can do solo Doodicarus stone runs like you're seeing right now. And he'll just keep swinging until he's encumbered, which is kind of crazy. So if you have the need or want, you can get an infinite amount of stone by yourself because it's helpful to be able to do solo runs. Now, also, let's say you don't want to have these things in your hands anymore. See ya. Not only that, but what's super cool about these Carquinhos, they are amazing raid creatures because their health, their base health is so high and they have a bullet reduction because they have chitin basically. Stinky Diplo. Now, these guys are super important to have, and I think you should definitely, this is our most valuable. If you do not have a Carquinhos, you need to go tame one. They are incredibly important. Now, the second most important, if you haven't seen my videos on why these guys are so important, you need to watch them, because these are probably, they're right next to Carquinhos for the most valuable. Now, you don't need another berry runner, because these things get insane berries. All you have to do is just sit there and right click, and you can get a crazy amount of berries really quick. Now, they also have a really great weight, which means they can carry all the berries, which is nice. Now, again, this is on a one-time server, so this is something that you can easily accomplish really quickly. And it's not that hard to get berries anyways. But you don't need a Bronto because they don't move very fast. These guys not only move fast, but they jump insanely far. So they're great scout teams, something you really need on this new map. Because this new map... Everyone's discovering new things all the time. And if you're one of the people that can move quickly around the map, you are much, much better off. <clears throat> Alright, so this is why it's number two. Now, let's go ahead and check out number three. This guy, the Wooly Rhino. Also, a great berry gatherer if you want. This guy will smack the berries and do pretty well. Moves pretty quick. Can destroy pretty much everything in one tap, which is nice. Because he got that build up going. Now, another really nice thing about this guy, this is what we use exclusively for boss battles. If you haven't seen my boss battle videos, you need to check them out because this guy is all you will ever need for a boss battle. We've done it with as few as three people to beat the bosses. Now, it was on Gamma, but you can beat them easily with six guys on Alpha, as long as you have some decent woolly rhinos. So these guys are the number three for that reason. You will not need another tame for boss battles. These guys are all you need. It's crazy how good they are. And obviously everyone wants tech, so this is the number one guy you want for boss battles, but our third most valuable. Now this guy's a little bit of a wild horse. A lot of people don't expect this guy to be on our list, the Spino. But let me tell you why you want a Spino. Very simple. On this map, it's a very large open area. However, the one unique consistent thing, water. When there is water nearby, Spinos get a double attack bonus, they get a damage reduction and damage healing increase, and their speed goes way up. They also have a knockback, which is crazy, but check how fast these things move. So your Rexes and Gigas, they're not that fast compared to these things, because these things can just haul butt. 
Now, what's super cool about them as well is their stamina, their base stamina is insanely high. So if you're looking for some PvP, these guys are a great way to do a ton of damage and then get right back out of where you just were. And first off, I mean, you can see they, they move pretty quick, especially if you have an imprinted one, you get the additional 20% boost in movement. Now, these guys are also what we use for our meat runs because if you put them back on their high heels, they actually get really good meat. As you just see, this is a, solo, like a single server. I don't have any boosts on it. And I'm getting really good meat with this thing. Yeah, a Giga would be the most opportune, but not everyone can tame a Giga. So Spinos, yeah, you need one. Spinos are super important on this new map. We use them very regularly, and we have some great stats on ours. Now let's go ahead and show you number five. For those of you that do not have access to cementing paste, acatinas, all of that stuff, Megatheriums are where it's at. Now, the reason that Megatheriums are so important is if you want to get a ton of chitin, make cementing paste, and just all around do good in caves, Megatheriums are what you need. Because if you bring five or six of these bad boys, you can absolutely wreck the Broodmother on this map. Now, you'll notice they get decent berries, so you can, if you really wanted to, you could go on berry runs. They get okay thatch. They gather great raw meat. But once you get them near a bug, a wild bug and I'll go ahead and show you what I mean by that they get a special bonus that gives them like double triple I don't know what it is it's something insane damage so that's why they can just destroy the brood mother and if you've ever been in the caves on this map there are bugs everywhere so these guys are invincible we brought a level 50 in just to see how good the this little bug bonus was and it slaughtered the entire cave without losing more than a quarter of its health which is crazy so the megatherium is the fifth most valuable now yes there are other valuable tames however these are the ones we find ourselves in my official server using the most often which is really important so obviously there are other things and yes we do have other tames but these are five kind of like dark horse tames that you might not know you need but trust me you're going to want some for the long run. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you don't mind leaving a like and subscribe, that'd be really awesome. But other than that, Teachers Game 2, out.